we are done with dependency injection of various types using setter method and constructor and we saw the difference also whereas property will not ask you to pass all the properties and it is not mandatory to use all the setter methods though you have in your class but if the data is required for you you should carefully pass the data whereas in constructor all the arguments must we should pass in the given order only in case if you want to jumble the order you can use the index to specify the order okay and usually in real time we we never uh, i mean much use setter or constructor instead of these two approaches we have an advanced approach is at the rate auto wired using at the rate auto wire we can do field level injection only without setter or without constructor field level dependency injection only we do in auto wiring that means we will not have any setter or we don't have any constructor here automatic dependency injection we will do that we will see later now today i'll show you stereotypes generally we saw how to create object by registering our classes into xml file your controllers services daos whatever classes you have what you are doing so far is you are configuring these classes into we are considering every class as a pozo and we are configuring these classes under a xml file into a spring xml file we were registering them and loading this xml to ioc so whatever jobs you have done through xml like creation of this beans and if there are any dependencies you are having inside this classes right you are doing dependency injection also from here you are specifying bean with the dependency injections and giving dependencies also injecting dependencies also here you are injecting dependencies also into beans and when you load this xml into ioc container the container is acting as you mentioned in xml file right it creates your bean class and it will do the all the dependencies as you specified that is what ioc is doing now spring as you know the framework is improving uh, the features so many features they improved and they reduced a lot of developer efforts here as a developer you are configuring every time a bean here for your class and you are trying to create object for your class so ioc uh, understand that pain and they think it in a different way instead you mentioning a bean uh, a tag here ioc improved you know its capacity or capabilities okay they added some features here to avoid this bean tag here to create objects of your classes they identified or they have a new approach which is component scan approach instead of specifying a bean here you know instead of specifying a bean here just you need to mention you need to mention the package of your classes let's say your classes are part of a package something like this we put packages right in real time com dot rbu dot if it is employee management system ems dot controller classes we put under web or controller package or rest package let's say your controller is part of a rest package 
service is part of EMS dot service. And DAO. Let's say these are your packages. Okay, so what you shall do here is instead of configuring this class directly here as a bean, just you need to specify a component scan component scan and your package name you have to give here package name you have to mention here parent package name the common parent name is com rbu.ems this is the parent package name if you can give parent package name here com.rbu.ems or if you want to specify all the packages also you can mention so instead of that you just give the parent package name till parent package is sufficient so what it will do ioc container when when it reads this xml file it understands that okay no bean classes developer configured he is asking me to identify the beans IOC understands that I need to scan the packages developer given a package name so I should go to each and every child package of this package and I should pick up the classes so IOC container will scan your packages it will go each and every package okay and it will go to the child package also okay which means it will read all your classes of this package whichever package you mentioned right it will load all the classes from that packages so your controller services DAOs everything it will load automatically but one qualification this class should have one qualification this class should have that is a stereotype annotation you should put on top of that class without that annotation if you create your classes IOC will not pick up IOC will not pick up it okay so while creating your controller class on top of controller class you have to put at the rate controller or at the rate rest controller at least one annotation from this tool you should mention on top of your controller class either a controller or a rest controller controller or rest controller on top of service class you have to mention at the rate service and on top of DAO you should use at the rate repository okay apart from these three annotations there are two more important annotations that we have apart from this controller service DAO application can have some utility classes and some configuration classes also Consider you want to create a connection pool class. It's a kind of configuration class. It's a kind of configuration class. Consider you want to write a validations, that kind of validations or logs, something, that kind of a utility class. Okay. It's easy to identify which is configuration and which is utility. So you may have apart from these classes right you may have utilities also and as well as configurations also configuration example is if you are creating connection pool like database connections I am managing so you will not doing any such code here you will be putting that code under configuration class this is for maintaining configuration stuff or integrations kind of stuff here
and you can have component also component component is for any utilities purpose you can have controllers to handle front end request ui request to handle ui request we will be having controller classes or rest controllers and this controllers hit service services can utilize component if there are any validations you have it can utilize the component class and service can call repository for db operations repository may utilize your configuration class for connections and all finally it invokes db okay configuration class is a kind of helper class for dao component class is a kind of helper class for service okay but that is not a first and foremost rule you can you can do any configurations in a simple example here i'm telling you to do database configurations kind of stuff to realize you what is configuration is and the component can use for small utilities purpose any validations or data operations you are doing do it under component okay so earlier i need to address my ioc by mentioning bean tank here i need to address my xml uh, in xml file by mentioning all these bean tags as a developer consider if you are having thousands of classes here all that classes you need to configure it in spring xml file and always maintaining configurations via one file means it is difficult to maintain means carefully you need to edit your xml file while adding new class if you disturb any configurations which are existing it will break the entire application yeah guys one by one yeah So, hmm. yeah. So, lot of discussions we will do about these annotations. Okay. So, every annotation is having a specific role. Let's say controller is a kind of one. You know, let's say if it is IAS and if it is IPS, they have different roles. Correct. When when they got into the job. IFS, IAS, IPS, they have different roles. Similarly, when I mention a class with controller, it is having a different set of roles. So, controller responsibility or controller capability is it will handle any front-end UI request. Can you able to do that in service? No. Controller or REST controller, they only can able to accept the post or get request from presentation layer. That is a capability given to at the rate controllers similarly to handle transactions services are capable same way to do database operations hmm. yes yes Yeah, every annotation is having a, a specific, uh, you know, purpose. So when you mentioned it as a service, then only it will understand that you are doing business logics. You may need transaction support and all. And this may need to be, uh, you know, if you have AOP and additional services, it will bring the service and AOPs together and it will, you know, create proxies. See, I don't want to go into depth now. 
every annotation is having is having specific purpose yeah correct correct when you specify repository do you imagine in spring boot it is doing automatic code generation also repository or when you extend your interface with jpa repository what it is doing in spring boot without you doing database code ioc itself doing it for you okay so based on the annotation or based on the configuration you know which you mentioned it will understand the purpose of your class i'll tell you the difference between configuration and the component also okay we will we will do that discussion in next session configuration given only for configuration purpose whereas if you use rather than configuration a component class right it will not work as you expected other classes will not work like configuration class configuration is you know class is a special purpose class whatever xml configurations you are doing here right when you feel that you are losing that capability in xml i was able to do so and so i can able to create a bean tag i can do dependency injections yeah if you are if you guys now still you are getting is my voice clear now So, yeah, I'll, I'll explain, okay? I don't want to go on the fly. So, I'll explain clearly each and every annotation. So, that is how we will cover entire MVC, okay? So, first, if you see, right, as a layman, if I see here, what is the benefit I am looking is, earlier, lot of bean tags I was configuring here. Now, that button is reduced for me. If I am a developer, what benefit I am looking is here. Okay, I was having, I, I was dealing lot of, lot of thousands of bean tags inside XML file. And for the God's sake, IOS is saved from it. I am not worrying about now bean tags. I need not to worry about bean tags here. IOC is taking care of it. Even though you, you didn't configure your bean class here. IOC in a reverse way, it is going to each and every package and picking up your classes and creating objects. So it is reducing the bean tax burden here. So now, when you specify a package here, IOC will go to each and every package. If that package is having any child package, right? It go inside that child package and it will search for the classes which are having stereotype annotations which are having controller annotation or rest controller or service or repository configuration or component. At least one of this annotation, it will expect, at least one of this annotated class, it will expect from that package. If no class is available, it's okay. It will go to the next package. If any class available, it will pick that class and it will create object. It will pick that class and it will create object for your class. Yes. So here the package name is parent package. Uh, only com also you can put. Com is a parent or com.rbu also parent if you see. Com.rbu.ems also parent. You can give up to any parent level, okay? like immediate parent package or it's 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 parent again grandparent or grand grandparent like that for service rest and dao yeah this is the common package right maybe artifact id right artifact up to artifact you can put yeah go ahead So, sorry, if, if you, I didn't get you. Uh, 
no when you specify nothing it cannot able to identify it Ah uh, no, no default search. Even in Spring Boot also, in yeah, in Spring Boot it will consider. Yeah, you have to pass it. Throwing a throwing issue or not? That's that's up to the XML schema. Okay, in schema if they specify package as a man mandatory attribute, attribute also mandatory for few. Okay. If this is a mandatory attribute, definitely it will ask you to put the package name. If it is not a mandatory attribute, then it will ignore. Okay. What is your question? Mentioning packages with mandatory, you are asking, right? Of course. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that is what. Ah, the yeah, that is what Spring Boot is, is a different discussion. There, I'll tell you. Okay, why that default it is picking up? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. There, actually, the current Spring Boot application class current package it will consider like a package. Okay, and it will try to do the component scan. If people mention that boot class in one different package. And other classes in a different package and without component scan when they create classes definitely they used to find errors it will not read the classes which are part of different packages even in spring boot also in that case explicitly we use at the rate component scan annotation in spring boot if you guys remember okay yeah, that we will see in spring boot okay so when i low yeah so the finally what I'm seeing is it is avoiding bean tags here in XML file instead of it is going and reaching each package inside each package it is picking up your class and creating objects. So how many objects it will create considered in this case I have five annotated classes if you consider one rest controller one service DAO configuration component. I have five annotated classes in five packages if you consider. So when I scan this child packages, it will create five objects. How many objects it will create? Five objects. Okay. Apart from this, apart from this, if you mention inside the configuration class, if you mention with the at the rate bean, if you return any object via method we create objects here via methods just via method we will create objects okay if you mention any at the rate bean if you mention any at the rate bean on top of a method which is which is returning a specific object let's say a student object or some custom object or a correction object whatever you you know imagine so if you mention at the rate bean what it will do during loading it will create controller service dao component configuration inside configuration it will it will execute methods which are specified with at the rate bean and this bean also it will register along with ioc okay ioc is doing what it is creating all the objects in jvm which all objects it is creating when you specify stereotype annotations when you specify stereotype annotations in the JVM, it will create your controller object, service object, DAO object, component object. Inside component, you have at the rate beans. That at the rate bean objects and a simple component objects. So overall, six objects it will create. So that references it will keep here default ids it will it will generate as you did not mention any ids right some default ids it will assign to each class so that ids it will put here controller id service class id repository class id your configuration class id 
and it will keep your connection class reference also as you created connection using at the rate b and your component class id all these ids it will maintain here into ioc reference the ioc will maintain them maintain that references so ioc is having all your beans <coughs> excuse me No, no, uh, I am there actually. I am thinking why this is still not leaving. See, this cursor is uh, there, right? I am unable to get new point. Ah, I saved it. Let's see. No, let's save and reopen. Okay, now, so controller object, your service object reference, right, your repository object and the configuration object it will create, inside configuration whichever bean you created, right, the connection object, that one also it will create and component object. All these objects it will maintain and it will maintain the default IDs with the IOC reference. So IOC is having access to all the objects and during application startup itself yeah you should not the behavior completely changes that's where they given a specific annotation configuration people may ask this as an interview question what is the difference with the configuration and component configuration class given to do configurations with the at the rate bean annotations and no other place for bean no other place apart from configuration you should not see this at the rate bean outside the configuration class these two are having such a bond if you create at the rate bean outside the configuration which means in a different annotated class inside component class the behavior entirely changes Basically, the purpose of at the rate bean is so far you are learning with XML file, right? Comfortably, I was able to configure my classes which I implemented or some other classes which are from different APIs or different jar files. I could able to configure that bean class here to create my objects. Now onwards, I am avoiding XML file to configure bean classes. So if some configurations, if I wanted to do, where should I do them? and if in XML file, if I configure something as a bean here, that is creating it as a single term. And during loading time only, that bean was creating. Now for controller services, DAOs, and for validations also, you given different set of annotations. But where should I do my configurations? If I have special configuration class apart from controller service DAO, for that purpose only, configuration class given. So whichever class you wanted to create something like in XML file as a bean tag, right? Use here at the rate bean annotation and create your object manually with core Java logic, right? Then this bean will be behaved like a the bean which you configured it in XML file earlier. So this is a singleton bean. Without configuration class, if you if you do it in somewhere else like component class, the behavior entirely changes. Instead of singleton bean, this will be created as a prototype bean. simple words this at the rate bean if i use inside component 
generally how many being how many objects it need to create ioc for each class is it single done or prototype hmm. so this at the rate bean method if i put inside component class then this at the rate bean mentioned code right it will execute any number of times if unknowingly you or your developer if they if they call this method it will create n number of connection objects let's say if you are creating connection pool object one time execution is sufficient or enough or mandatorily one time only it should execute and create connection pool if somebody unknowingly call this or intentionally call this method it will create such connection pools n number of times when if it is inside component class or if it is inside some other classes like service or controller or repository but if you create this at the rate be in inside configuration class so though you intentionally call though you intentionally call it also it will not create that many objects only one object it will ensure you should not if you do that if you do that that is the behavior prototype behavior it will not consider like a bean it will consider like a simple method only inside other classes only in configuration it will behave like a bean It is not single done. It is not single. Correct. That that will be like a simple method only. It will not consider your code like a configuration. It will consider your code like a method only. Useless. Yeah, that is what the difference. Even I was having this confusion before. I was writing this at the rate bean methods in a different class, and when behavior is changing, I was surprised. So then I realized that at the rate bean, I should not. put apart from configuration class i should not put it nowhere else okay it will behave like a normal method only normal method in the sense whoever calls this method for them it will create different objects multiple objects it will create so at the uh, but the purpose of at the rate bean is whichever method you mentioned here whichever object you are returning is that should be single done yes no it's not a yeah of course you you may consider it as a factory method or whatever it is it, uh, in simple words i am saying right earlier you are having flexibility of xml beans here so whichever bean you wanted to do in such a way that you need to do with via at the rate bean in a configuration class so the same behavior you should get here okay apart from configuration class if you configure it in so somewhere else then that will not be like a your bean that is like a method only we will see that okay you can use if you want you know have both way you know uh, few if you want to create Uh, via XML file, if you you want to create via component scan, you can do that as well. But slowly we are trying to avoiding it, na. Hmm. Yes. Exactly. That is what the statement is. Okay. When you want to ignore complete XML file and shift to 
programmatic based configurations this is the place where you can configure your beans then earlier i used to configure all my controller service demo beans also in xml file now for these beans a specific stereotype annotation is given so you need not to configure them even in configuration class these beans are automatically will picked up by ioc container few bean classes would be there like connection beans or factory beans or you know a different set of configurations beans you might have configuring in your xml file such beans you can configure under at the rate bean annotation okay i'll show examples okay so you will get clarity more on it so finally when when you specify the stereotypes ioc can able to automatically pick up this classes and create objects let's see one example project this is very important in spring boot also we follow the same annotations only going forward right slowly you will see how it is reducing the burden of configurations step by step we move till spring boot right when you enter spring boot it avoids lot of developer you know configuration stuff automatically it used to handle automatically so we call this annotations like stereotype annotations stereotyping means you know identify uh -huh. in in general what is the stereotype definition categorizing actually that is what mean stereotype meaning yeah so it, it's like a categorizing how government categorizes the people right middle class poor or while doing taxation they will categorize the right 5% tax person or 10% 30% similarly it is like a categorizing your classes with the specific annotations so then it will it will consider this like a, it needs a special capabilities of controller this needs this needs a different capabilities and this needs this different capabilities okay com dot rbu dot employee management system dot controller package or rest package let me create four packages one two configurations and some utilities so let's write some classes here student the controller mention here at the rate controller 
just see how objects it is created. Or right default constructor and put some SOP just to, to see controller object created or not. controller next immediate one is service so student service then Diego Annotation should be a repository. Now for for utility and having some utility class here. something a validation util okay so four classes so far and one configuration okay application configurations and stuff you would be putting there. So, so now to create object for these classes you need not to mention all these classes in an XML file. Instead, you do that. Configure XML file with the context to call and component scan. Context is a different schema, XSD based schema. Okay. So, this is the namespace of it, means reference of XML schema. Using that schema, and in that schema, we have component scan tag and here we enter base package so whatever is the base package name we enter that here com.rb.ems is the base package so till then you can give and this yeah this will activate all the other annotations we are not using them but let's keep it okay now it is not mandatory but for next examples we will use it okay this will this is to activate annotations okay earlier you know in spring xml based or configurations everything we used to activate it in spring boot we never see that when you specify this only it will activate all other annotations for now your component scan will activate the stereotype annotations okay so you can you can see scans the class path annotated components will be auto registered as a spring wings by default the spring provides at the rate component repository service controller stereotype will be detected and note the given note this tag implies the effects of the annotation config tag activating required auto wired post construct redestroy resource there are other annotations okay to activate them saying use the annotation config tag yes <coughs> that is the parent stereotype for all the stereotype annotations now 
let's load your XML file and see. Okay, just loading XML file. See, will it create objects of our classes or not? See, application configuration object. So configuration object created. Then immediately your service object created. Then your controller object created. Anything missing here? Validation object not created because you didn't mention any annotation. Okay, PO object also created. I, I did that, I think. Yeah. So now if you see your uh, configuration class, TO class, controller class, service class, four objects created. This configuration class specified with at the rate configuration, DAO specified with repository, controller specified with controller, service specified with at the rate service. And the validation class not created because no annotation specified. So if I put component. while creating objects yes uh, generally yeah configuration is the most important for any application right without configurations the remaining application as it will not work first it will execute configuration only so once after configuration it will create a DAO then your controller validation services Again, when you do auto wiring, when you do auto wiring, then it will create it in a different order. But always, this is the first one takes the place, and the next DAO. The remaining will be, you know, will change based on the auto wiring. Okay. But in any order, let it create. It creates the all the objects, and it will do dependency injections also. Okay, we will see that dependency injection as well. That is the class path instead of a physical path from source. Source is the main root folder, right? Inside this folder only all the classes, all the packages, all the test libraries, everything we used to have. So in under source only I have resource package. So source, source, source is my like root package. So under root package I have resources, spring XML file. So this is like a class path. Yes. It is part of stereotype only. configuration class okay so maybe it is from a different package but it's a stereotype okay given for configuration purpose see maybe it is a having a parent type component it is a type of component when you mention configuration it is saying it's a type of component then sorry ah equivalent yeah equivalent and it has some other capabilities also given for a different purpose okay Yep. See the purpose is same, right? Yeah. Right. And the purpose when you explain, right? Doesn't matter 
if you say it a stereotype or not a stereotype doesn't matter when you specify this annotations five annotations it will pick up your classes and create objects no other annotations like such okay there is one more annotation maybe rest repository for repositories there is a rest repository also we will we'll see that in spring boot concepts but yeah these all are the stereotypes okay hmm. yeah. okay simple so tomorrow we will see how configuration with the bean works properly you will understand that that is again a very important thing during configurations people you know used to get confused and at the rate of bean tag they used to put everywhere even i did that okay so we'll, we will clearly understand why exactly at the rate of bean should be part of configuration okay yeah uh, that's it for today